Hello and welcome along to another video. I am in a slightly less trodden and often forgotten area of the Scottish Highlands due to its proximity to its magnificent neighbour Glencoe. Now Alan is joining me today and we are currently in Glen Leac Namui. At least I think that's how you pronounce it. And as I said, it's often overlooked in favour of its neighbour Glencoe, but it doesn't mean it's any less beautiful. Now on today's agenda, we have a couple of options. We have the Munro Skurnahuli, we have a Corbett Miao Lagayach, at least I think that's how it's pronounced, or we have um, a loop that would take in both of them. Now we're not completely decided what we're going to do, but we're going to head up the Glen and we're going to make a decision. Bye, thank you so much for coming along. Uh, I really do appreciate you know every single person that's been watching my videos and all the new subscribers recently. So thank you very much and I hope you enjoy this adventure. have made the decision to go for Skur Nahuli, the Munro first. And when we're at the top of that, we'll make a decision about whether or not we return the way we came or we continue on the loop and take in the Corbett Miao Lagaya. Gosh, we're about an hour into this walk and I am perspiring quite a lot. It's been, a, it's been reasonably tough going and that's because the path isn't particularly great. And that's because not a lot of people choose this particular route over some of the more well-established and uh, more illustrious routes within Glencoe. But it's absolutely beautiful. I mean, behind me you can probably make out the summit of Skurnahuli. And what we are going to do is we're going to head up the, uh, the slope behind me, catch the ridge line, and then walk along the ridge up to the summit. Aye, that's the plan anyway. But my goodness, it's definitely cleared up a little bit. The clouds have lifted, so the summits are cloud free currently. And according to the forecast, that's the way it should remain for the majority of the day. So we'll keep our fingers crossed for uh, clear summits and blue skies. But aye, just going to catch our breath and then crack on. Oh, this slope is relentless. We're gaining height quite quickly, but my goodness, it is a proper slog. If I spin you this way, you'll be able to see that the summit of Skjernahuli is behind me, but it is shrouded in cloud, which is slightly unfortunate. And we're just making our way up to the ridge line. And I don't think it'll take us that long to get to the ridge line from here. It's only maybe a hundred meters or so. But oh, every step, it's burning. <laughs> but my goodness, it's beautiful. What a place. So we've gained the ridge. Oh my God, what a steep, steep pull up. 
Oh, well, not terribly far away from the first uh, top of this mountain. Oh, and once we get there, I think we'll take a wee five minute breather. Just past the minor top on the way to the true summit of Skew on the Hooley. We've just got a little dip and then a nice wee pull up, and we should be there. Shouldn't take us too long at all. It's been an absolute slog getting here though, and you can absolutely understand why this is called the Treasured Peak because it takes a bit of effort, and actually, it's well worth it when you get up here. So, yeah. Let's keep going and see if we can find some treasure. Final pull up, the skew on the hilly. How are we feeling, Alan? Knackered. <laughs> <laughs> nah, not too bad. Glad it's the final pull up. It'll be good to get to the top because it's been a long, long slog up the path, really. Well, it wasn't really a path, but we found our way. Right, let's go! Welcome to the summit of Skjør the Hule. Oh my goodness, that is not an easy walk at all. Oh, that is a slog in places. I mean, it's absolutely beautiful. And I think every single step is, is worth it. But my God, that was tough. Oh, no wonder it gets forgotten about. But it is a shame because it's a, you know, it's a stunning place. I mean, we're annoyingly, we're shrouded in cloud a little, but you know, there's still views, you know, across to the Ballyhoolish Horseshoe, across to the Mamoles and Nevis, and if, you know, if the cloud wasn't here, we would see the rest of the, the Glencoe Hills as well. But yeah, stunning, stunning, stunning place. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this peak is known as the Treasures Peak. So I think we should have a wee hunt around and see if there is any treasure to be found. Right, I'm gonna go hunting for this treasure. So where is it gonna be? What do we have here? A couple Empire Biscuits. 
I think that's a treasure. <laughs> I mean, it's nae Harry Gow's, obviously. Yeah. But, you know, it's a close second doing McGee's. Doing McGee's. What are you going to go for your sandwich now? Mm hmm. Sandwich and an empire biscuit. Oh, aye. This is the one I had on me, though. Hmm. Thermos. Ultimate insulation. The Shawn Michaels theme song. Wrestling. It goes like, I'm just a sexy boy. Sexy boy. Right. Well, Sarah sings that to me sometimes, but she said, instead of saying sexy, she says chunky. Oh. She goes, You're just a chunky boy. Chunky boy. Do, 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 do. For you. Thank you, thanks for getting these, for finding these on the mountain. You found them mate! Found them on the mountain. <laughs> found them so you have to carry the packaging back down. Oh, you can't beat a McGee's Empire Biscuit. I wonder if McGee's would sponsor one of the videos. Mm. That'd be good. Mm. <laughs> So we've farted around the summit of Skjernahulli for long enough and we have enjoyed our treasure. Now, I'm going to say it, I think the Empire Biscuit is a superior biscuit. I would take an Empire Biscuit above most other biscuits. Actually, probably above all other biscuits. There, I've said it. I think it's the best biscuit, okay? Um, yeah, it was great. Really, really lovely. And, um, you know, I've enjoyed a cup of tea. We've had our sandwiches. And now we're going to head down to the Bialach between Skjernahulli and Miao Lagayach. At least I think that's how it's pronounced. And we're going to make a decision when we're at the Bialach as to whether we ascend the Corbett or whether we continue going down and pick up the path that we were on earlier. So why? Let's get going. This descent off Skjernahulli down to the Bialach is not easy. It's proper steep. And the rock's really slippy in places. We've had to get hands on quite a lot, which <laughs> I don't think I anticipated. Oh, it's great fun, like don't get me wrong, we're taking a lot of care, we've been very sensible, and we are having a good time. But yeah, like just unexpectedly tough, which eh, uh, <laughs> You know, adds to the enjoyment, but you know, you need to keep a sensible head on. And I think we're, um, you know, we're making sure we make good decisions and don't do anything silly. Yeah. You're having fun? Yeah. Tricky though. <laughs> Tricky and slippy. Right, let's get down here.
my progress off this hill has been quite slow, I'll be honest, because I keep looking behind me and I keep looking at the crags and looking at how steep that face of Skurnahuli is. And I can't believe we picked our way through all those crags. At some points we were hands-on proper scrambling. I would maybe describe some of it as grade one scrambling. It was great fun, don't get me wrong, but I hadn't anticipated it. So I'm not sure if we'd maybe, you know, maybe possibly veered off the route. But, you know, we were careful, we were sensible, we managed to pick our way through it. You know, both Alan and I are, you know, are reasonably experienced in the mountains. So, you know, we had each other and, uh, you know, we made good decisions, I think. But yeah, I'm absolutely knackered. And because of that, we're going to leave the Corbett for another day. And it's a good excuse to come back up here to this forgotten landscape and uh, become more acquainted with it. Because as I say, it's really not frequented very often. But it's beautiful and it's stunning and I absolutely love it up here. So I thank you so much for watching. Um, I really hope you've enjoyed it. I've had a, a great day making this video. Uh, so I hope you've enjoyed watching it. And uh, if you have enjoyed watching the video, as I always say, you know, please do comment. Let me know you've enjoyed it because I love reading the comments and I especially love, you know, connecting with, you know, other YouTubers and, you know, people that watch my videos. Um, and if you want to subscribe to the channel, if you're new here, you know, thank you for, for tuning in. And if you want to subscribe, you know, please, please do so. It does go a long way in helping me, you know, grow the channel and I do appreciate every single subscriber. But aye, on that, thank you again. Thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you on another adventure soon. I won't be back in a hurry. <laughs> no, I've had a good time. It's pretty cool ridge. Pretty crazy to think that we came down that. It's good the fog lifted. That was nice. But yeah, very steep and slippy, so watch your step. Thank you. Thanks, Alan.